Well, today we are doing a project that I know my son is going to love to do. Here with me now is Michelle Watkins, flight director with the Challenger Learning Center in New Mexico. Hi, Hi Michelle. Thank you so much for coming in. Okay, so we are making it really easy at-home at activity. Uh, it's a star projector, is that right? Correct. Okay, and you're going to show us how to do this. I can't wait for this. Yeah, so it's all supplies you might have at home. Just a regular oatmeal container. Okay, um, I, which cardboard. by the way, I'm not kidding. I have maybe about a fourth left oh. in my oatmeal you're container. Just a Same little exact few more at breakfast and you're good to go. You had a Some cereal box? Cereal box for okay. cardboard. Now the part the adults are going to want to do is carefully cut out the top circle Ah, oh, leaving kind of like the plastic container. rim, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. So adults might want to do that with a box cutter. Okay. Got and then you'll cut out the bottom as well. You can either cut out the whole circle so you have an open bottom, or if you have a small flashlight, your flashlight's going to go in here. Oh. You can cut out a small hole. Flashlight will go in there. Okay. So we got that. You're going to cut some circles from your cardboard. cardboard. Anything you have, just thicker cardboard Listen, works a little well better. Listen, might as well put the old cereal box to use, right? Exactly. Okay. And then find some constellations. You can go on skymaps.com and find constellation printout what the okay. sky looks like to Yeah, because I think I only know like the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. Uh, Orion. Orion. Orion's my favorite. Orion. And you uh, you actually got started doing some of them. I did. Okay. You, and I guess I'll do, how do you, I guess, So, with you just pencil? poke the hole with a pencil, or if you want to make little holes, you can use a thumb, uh, tack. Okay. See oh, I have tacks at home, too. There. So, you kind of so make So, you just kind of poke the holes. You can make them different sizes, and then you'll get a circle with your okay. holes. I've got Orion, like I said, that's my okay. favorite. Okay, Orion. And fit it. On top, right on top. Of now, do you your have the container. bottom on there? No, on the this one you don't open. have the, the bottom is open, completely okay. open there. And okay, then so I you just have your fit my constellation on the top. Side. Now you'll want to experiment with your flashlights. This flashlight is going to give you some really fun effects. We know we were just talking kids right. love flashlights. Let me tell you, I'm not <laughs> kidding. My son James, he is is so into flashlights right now. He's going to love this. You okay. can draw other pictures too besides constellations, but if you want to get really good pinpoints of stars. I found the best is one of those cheap little LED single light LEDs. Okay. Just now shine that, one will that work in the even bottom. With the whole back. It will. Open? Okay. It will. Just shine that in the bottom. It's you want to be in the dark, so yeah, you're not going to be able to see it here today. Yeah, obviously you can't really see the light shine, the actual, you know, the, right. the 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 effect because we have so much light in the studio. But once you do this, maybe go in the closet or just yeah. darken up the room. Just turn the lights shine off the light and then shine and it boom. through. You'll get a nice constellation on your wall. <laughs> How am I doing here with this one? You what, are doing great. Which I one gave am I you doing? You Cygnus, the swan she, she, constellation, which you can see here in okay. the Milky Way. So or you can go. make up your own this constellation. Tell yeah. stories. Make up your own one. That's it. I could just see my four-year-old making a, a happy face or, exactly. something. Or, or something fun like that. Okay. A robot, if that's what he's into. So, and this is really cool. This is what I like about the oatmeal box is that you don't need to tape. You don't need to tape the top. Exactly. This little plastic rim uh, or ring or whatever yeah. just kind of seals it off. You can use any kind of cylinder container you have at home. We had a family okay. that did it with um, a peanut container, so it was a little rounder, a little shallower, but yeah. it works just as well. Just be careful with the cutting the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. An adult will okay. want to do that. That's the kids can do the rest of it, though. Very good advice. And then, obviously, you can um, jazz it up. You can have your uh, uh, little kid at home just put maybe some construction papers. I know you have stickers on mm -hmm. here. Maybe some glitter. Jazz I it used up. some glow-in-the-dark paint to add a little nighttime touch to it. There you go. Glow-in-the-dark. Oh, I like glow that. Glow-in-the-dark stickers. There's a quick list of what you need. Man, this is really simple yeah. stuff. Most of us... Uh, at least parents have this type of stuff. Uh, the oatmeal container, construction paper, uh, the scissors, and uh, flashlights. pencils, flashlights. Um, we'll have all the links to some instructions on how to do it on our Facebook page, Challenger awesome. Center. And to link to the Challenger Center, head to our website, casa.com, and click on Casa Block. Thanks again, Thank Michelle, for you. coming in. As always, it's been a pleasure.